स्टूडेंट्स आई अगेन वेलकम ऑन योर ओन चैनल दैट्स मुदबर बायोलॉजी कल टुडे लेट्स डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज द यूरी मिलर एक्सपेरिमेंट बिफोर डिस्कसिंग इन डिटेल द यूरी मिलर एक्सपेरिमेंट वी विल फर्स्ट ऑफ आर डिस्कस द केमिकल इवल्यूशन ऑफ द लाइफ एज हैज बीन ऑलरेडी डिस्कसड इन द ओपनियन हेलेडियन कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज द मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेड कॉन्सेप्ट आर द मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेड थ्योरी रिगार्डिंग द ओरिजिन ऑफ द लाइफ प्रेजेंटली इट बिलीव दैट द केमिकल ओरिजिन ऑफ द लाइफ हैज ऑकर्ड वॉट वी मीन बाई द केमिकल ओरिजिन ऑफ द लाइफ और केमिकल सॉरी केमिकल इवल्यूशन ऑफ द लाइफ दैट इज इट मीन्स टू से दैट अमॉन द प्रिमिटिव एयरथ वेन देयर वॉज रिड्यूसिंग एटमोसफियर देयर वायर सम केमिकल विच आर प्रेजेंट अपॉन दिस अर्थ एंड these chemicals in presence of certain particular energy sources which are present upon the primitive earth they aggregated and they formed the bus for they formed the first biomolecules which is a prerequisite for the origin of the first cells so this theory is mainly based upon the chemical evolution of the life the chemical evolution in simple words says that life began by the aggregation of certain chemical molecules which generated the biomolecules like the amino acids like the nitrogenous bases and the sugars which later on ultimately led to the beginning of the process of formation of the cells now <sighs> with respect to the uh, sorry with regard to the proof of this theory uh, an experiment was carried out by stanley yuri and miller in 1953 in which they simulated the conditions which were present upon the primitive earth and they carried out the experiment inside the laboratory it is a simulation experiment in which they simulated the conditions which were present upon the primitive earth and then they concluded that really this might have happened upon the primitive earth as certain uh, biomolecules like certain amino acids certain sugars uh, were formed during this experiment now we first of all uh, will try to understand what were the conditions upon the primitive earth as you know upon the primitive earth the first and foremost condition was that the temperature was very high the water which was present upon the primitive earth it appeared to be just like a hot dilute soup which uh this term was given by held and to the water which was present upon the primitive earth or the broth which was present upon the primitive earth was known as hot dilute soup so there was high temperature upon the earth there was lack of total lack of free oxygen molecular oxygen this is reducing atmosphere and the energy sources you already know what were the energy sources upon the primitive earth like the electric discharges solar radiations uh, particularly uv radiations and uh, energy released from the volcanic eruptions all these conditions were mimicked and it was found as to as uh, it is believed by the operian hallerian concept that molecular aggregation has occurred which led to the formation of the first cells and the similar situation was encountered during the yuri miller experiment uh, which makes us to believe that something very much similar has actually happened upon the primitive earth which has led to the formation of the cells Now we shall discuss about the apparatus and the procedure which was used by Stanley Miller and Yuri. You see, this is the boiling water. This over here, it is the boiling water which you see on uh, in this uh, flask, and this is the heat source. The heat was supplied to this boiling water. The temperature was very high, and this boiling water changed into the vapor form. And these vapors, you will see, they went over here, and this is over here vacuum pump. This you see over here it is vacuum pump so this is the boiling water and these are the vapors of the boiling water you will see then they go to this flask this around bottom around bottom flask and in this flask you will see this is the water in the 
vapor form which has reached to this flask then you will see upon the primitive earth there were present certain chemicals particularly hydrogen this is the hydrogen and ammonia was also present this is ammonia nh3 and this is methane these are some of the chemicals which were present upon the primitive earth <coughs> now after that you see all these are in gaseous form over here now these are electrodes these are the energy sources over here the electrodes generate an electric discharge and uh, the electric discharge passes through the mixture of these gases but over here we have to remember that the, this is the reducing atmosphere there is total absence of the molecular oxygen or there is total absence of the free oxygen the condition mimics to that condition which was present upon the primitive earth as upon the primitive earth there was also lack of molecular oxygen and these were the <coughs> molecules these were the chem chemicals which are present upon the primitive broth on the earth and the same chemicals we have made over here possible inside the laboratory during the Uri Miller experimentation. Now, this is the electric discharge produced by the electrodes. The electrodes over here, they produce a voltage of about 75,000 volts. This is the electric discharge which is produced by these electrodes. Now, the electric discharge passes through this mixture of these gases and then over here a condenser is adjusted over here this is the condenser which has been adjusted it condenses cool uh, cold water flows through this condenser when these uh, vapors go through this area over here the cold water is supplied and they condense again and this is a trap over here this is a trap in which you will uh, see the mixture of the con after the condensation you can see or examine it over here uh, you can uh, take out the mixture through this uh, uh, this uh, outlet and you can examine its contents. Now what was done in Uri Miller experimentation? This boiling water in vapor form, it moved to this flask where already hydrogen, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, ammonia and methane is present. You can remember it by simple formula, WHAM, W-H-A-M, WHAM, which is Urdu may be WHAM. It bears no resemblance with this. Ha, is a yard at second. W H A M. W means water, H means hydrogen, A means ammonia, M means methane. Or after yard, yer at nahaki, hydrogen, uh, ammonia, or methane, kajo ratio hai is flask me. That is 2 is to 1 is to 2. These are some of the questions which are asked in competitive examinations, like what was the <coughs> ratio taken by the Yuri and Miller during their experimentation? Uh, uh, or what was the ratio of hydrogen to ammonia to methane in the urimular experiment it is 2 is 1 is 2 the gases which are present over here you can remember it by WHMVM that is water hydrogen ammonia methane the uh, uh, what we call as water <coughs> it varies the amount of water we are taking it varies but the ratio of the hydrogen ammonia and methane is necessarily be necessarily to be taken in the ratio of one is two is to one and after that the electric discharge passed through 75,000 volt electric discharge passed through this mixture of gases by these electrodes and then the mixture moves through this area where a condenser is adjusted and this mixture condenses if you have to examine the mixture you can uh, you can uh, take out the contents of the mixture through this outlet. Now, what is basically done in this experimentation? This is the water in the gaseous form. These are the gases which are present over here. Then we supply the electric discharge through these electrodes. Then it condenses again. Then it, when it condenses again, it moves again to this flask over here. Again, this uh, the contents are evaporated. Then they go into this area. Then again, they go into this way. And this is repeated over and again many times. Some believe that this experiment was carried out for seven days continuously. The contents were uh, circulating through this area. And some believe that for 18 days this was carried out. The contents continuously moved th through this area. The series uh, or the sequence of the events is like this. The water evaporated then moved into this flask where already gases are present. Then they condensed. Uh, went into the trap then they again went into this flask again uh, the mixture was boiled by the heat source and again it moved through this then again this uh, through this flask then again they moved and this continued for about seven days or some believe for about 18 days and after that we saw in this very trap through this outlet we 
uh, pulled out some of the mixture of these uh, content, uh, content uh, sorry contents which are present in this mixture we pulled out through this uh, opening and we examined that certain amino acids uh, have been formed the you can remember this by AAG A A G A A G R A means alanine A L A N I N E alanine amino acid was found A means aspartic acid aspartic acid again and uh, G minus glycine. Glycine is the simplest amino acid. After the experiment was over, when the contents of the uh, present in the trap are examined, uh, aspartic acid, alanine, and uh, similarly the glycine amino acids were found in the trap. And uh, some uh, purines and some pyrimidines uh, were also found in the trap. And some believe some sugars have also been formed. So we say that basically when we mimicked uh, or when we simulated the conditions present upon the primitive earth inside the laboratory conditions and we re uh, repeated the experiment for many days, we found that some of the biomolecules like the amino acids and like the uh, sugars and like the nitrogenous bases have been formed. Similar experiments were revised by many other uh, scientists like the Sydney Fox and they believe that some sugars have also been formed, some uh, nitrogenous compounds have also been formed and this is an experimental proof <coughs> to the concept of chemical evolution of life or to the concept of chemogeny which was put forth by Operian and Halladian uh, in the uh, opening and Halladian theory or which you call as the uh, theory of chemical uh, origin of life or theory of chemical evolution of life. So uh, this uh, experimentation carried out by the Urey and Miller is an experimental proof supported to the theory of uh, this Operian and Halladian.